Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is Anna with Anna's Creations and today I have a project share. I um, took a class at Frank Garcia studio um, on Sunday and um, I was creating a little um, box that I'm going to show you in just a minute. But let me show you the supplies that we used um, in my previous um, haul, scrapbook.com haul. I showed you guys my the diamond stickles that I bought because I ran out of mine. And then the Nuvo um, mousse that I used or that I bought. And this is the, the color, custard cream. And this is the um, Nuvo sponge that I used to dab in there and adhere it or apply to my my project and in here this bag here he um he had all the setup really nicely and um these are the supplies that we used um it was a what was it oh echo park paper and it uh oh, let me see what it was a paper easter wishes paper and um, these are the cut out parts that i cut out and i'll be using for other projects these are extras that i have left over for my project really cute they're like journaling cards there we go okay so that's that and then these are the um flowers that we we got in our kit by prima and this is the ephemera it's the easter wishes by Lori whitlock um echo park paper company So cute. We used this one here. Um, I'll show you in a minute what we used. And look at, he gave us some pop, unicorn popcorn. I thought that was so cute. I don't think I've ever seen unicorn popcorn. It's like Popcornopolis and I love their popcorn. So I can't wait to dig into that. I'll have to share that with my kids. And this is his, um, his um, logo for his um, store. Okay, so let me show you. Da -da -da -da. Isn't this adorable, you guys? This was, oh, so I, the, the class was at Frank Garcia's um, studio, but Johnny was the one that um, held the class. And he's a wonderful um, teacher. And so let me go ahead and, so, okay. So this is a wooden, it was, it was it's a wooden little box. And w w the first step was to distress this with the Nuvo Mousse. Um, and a sponge and so we distressed it and, and kind of like painting and then in here in the little grooves there we um, use the paintbrush to get into the grooves really good and we just stretch distress the edges with that yellow and it, it, it dries really quick like my hands were all full of nuvo mousse but um it was easy to wipe off and it dried really quick so let me show you. These are the Prima flowers that we uh, clustered up. And then I forgot to ask where um, he he got these um, little Easter eggs, but I adhered those with hot glue, the same with the flowers. I added a big giant pearl right there that was in our kit. And this is the ephemera that we used. We popped up the frame, took out the inside of this frame and put that one in, and then popped up the sentiment, wishing you Easter happiness. Um, but before all this, after so after the distressing, we added the inside pieces there, and we we had he had like a PowerPoint um, up on the screen and with all the, the picture of what it's supposed to look like every step, and um, and then he would explain it as well. So and then we um, so after those pieces, the inner pieces, the outer pieces were in place. That's when we decorated the inside. And then look at the back. We added a little pocket and added the banner that says candy. I added this um, Easter egg. And these are the Jordan Lee cards that I chose to use. It's really, really cute project. So, so cute. And then, so this is the part where it, um, it's the label of the paper and I decided to leave it because I thought that was, I mean, it looks really cute. I it didn't have a, a skew number or anything. So I left it there because it says Easter wishes and the Easter and the egg and the uh, flower and then this little plaid 
on the side that didn't bother me a bit it actually blends in really nicely and then okay so that giant ginormous bead or pearl that we we put here we use those as well for the feet isn't that adorable and it stands up and then we use this here okay so this metal part i forgot the the, uh, the product that we used but he gave us the option if any of you guys well, he said if any of you guys want to um distress it because it was more of an antique look like darker and he said if you want to distress it and make it lighten lighten it up he add, i forgot the name if, if i'll ask him and then i'll link the um item below um once i do that okay so i i forgot to um i should have written it down but i didn't well anyways he got a little bit of, on a little dabber and then he distressed the metal part and so it's like a lighter um metal so I thought those were cute. And then at the bottom here, there there was um, a screw. So he unscrewed it for, for me because um, he helped me with that. And then he painted this and this to give it a lighter look. Um, and we added, the, like I said, the pearls around here. It's like a string of pearls. Um, oh, and we added stickles in the, I added stickles on the Easter eggs there. Some of the Easter eggs. Um, let's see what else. We had a lot of fun. Oh, and I met Anna, who is Serenity Creations here on YouTube. Um, it was really exciting to meet her. Very nice lady. And we we just chit chatted, and it was it was just an awesome class. Very nice ambience ambiance in that class. Very nice. So, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Have you started on your Easter projects? Um, this is actually my first season project this year, so I'm glad I took the class. Kind of pushes me to get going on my um, projects. So, um, alrighty, so this is it for now. Let me know in the comments below. I'll be doing also a tour of the his shop, his studio, and uh, Frank Garcia Hall as well. So I'll be sharing that with you guys in, a, in, a, in another video. So thank you so much for stopping by. And um, don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you like it. Hit the subscribe button for future um, videos. And I'll see you guys on my next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.